Hi there. Happy Chow Isaacs, also known as Knives Chow, and on Twitter at I Wear the Crowns. Uh, so I'm now um, continuing with activity two and lesson four of the Python coding activities in Minecraft Education Edition. So I am working on dog number two's uh, mixed diet. So dog two, oh, now this is all lit up too because of the redstone lamp because I got dog one's diet correct. So dog two, oh, and look, it has a bed. How cute. Okay. So dog two, I'm looking here at the dispensers. I'm going to go ahead and say C for code builder. And I had just um, finished activity one. So now I'm on two, which is I hit next, which I hadn't been doing before. So now it's saying give the second dog everything that's already in the list or the array with additional vitamins added. Do this by using the append method um, to add the variable vitamins to the end of the list. Then change the value of the last place block at position command so it places the vitamins in the machine and then give the food to dog number two. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to, so first uh, item is to append. Um, and so a method is also a procedure. So that's built into um, code builder that's built into this code. We don't have to write it. So we are going to go here um, and notice too that um, the hashtags, so in in Python, the hashtags are used to comment out the, that line of code. So that means that if you use a hashtag, notice it's also green here, um, the, the computer is gonna ignore that code because that's a comment just for you. So I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter at the end of the line so that I have a line of code. And I need to add the variable vitamins, which is here, to this dog food list. Okay, so um, let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and say dog food because that's the variable, dog food. So um, notice too that um, there's an autocomplete menu and I'm picking that. Now, usually with um, a method, you separate the, you add a method, you separate the method from the variable with a period, ah, and there it is, so, or a dot is what we say or what you say in coding not we because i'm not there yet but anyway the nice thing is the first thing that comes up is append so i'm going to go ahead and choose that so append and um, i'm going to it's right now it's saying none but i'm going to add uh vitamins and you'll see that that pops up there as well so dog food append vitamins what should happen is dog food um, it will add vitamins to the end of the list and then i'm adding redstone because that's how um, when we add redstone to that spot these spots then it's going to make the connection for the dispenser to dispense uh, the items so we just need to now we use the pen then change the value of the last place block so that's this last command and i'm going to go ahead and change that to four because remember um, in a list, the index starts at zero, so bone is zero, beef is one, chicken is two, biscuit is three, and when vitamins comes at the end there, it will be four. Okay, so again, I'm gonna shrink the window, and because I put it on the left, it's already there. I'm gonna hit play to compile the code. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch, there's the redstone block up there. Oh, look, and everything, ah, oh, and it disappears. All right, you gotta watch fast. So let's go to the chest. I'm going to right, right click it to open it up. And then I don't know if you know this tip, but the speedy quick way to speedy quick way to get um, items into your hot bar. I mean, you can click and bring them down, but if you uh, hold shift down and you click, what will happen is that those items will fly down into your hot bar. Okay, so I have my items from my chest. Look at doggy number two, so ready. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to. Um, Press one to get the chicken, whatever's in one, and I'm gonna Q to throw it, two, Q to throw it. There's a little bit of um, things are happening correctly because I hear there's a little bell. I'm not sure that the system sound is on. Okay, so I'm on three for the bone and Q to throw it, four for the vitamins and to throw it, and five for the beef and to throw it, and we're correct, hooray! Dog number two has gotten all its items. 
and its redstone lamp is lit up. So now we just have dog number three to worry about. So let's go ahead and come back and look at our um, food dispensers. We're gonna hit C to go to Code Builder. I'm gonna expand this window so we see the full screen. And then the key to learning is to hit next in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the last part of this activity is to give the third dog everything that's in the list, but no beef. That's right, no beef. So what we have to do, what it's saying it's do, to do is to use the pop method to remove the variable beef from the list. So then we give the food to number three, okay? So with this code snippet, everything stays as is. So we said dog food append and we're adding vitamins. And um, I'm not so familiar with, um, Oh, I see why it's out there. It's just to be a little distinct. I got it. Okay, I'll leave it there. You know, part of me was like, I need everything lined up, but I'll leave that alone. So um, the code snippet is still going to need vitamins to be appended because it, essentially it starts over. Um, but now it needs uh, beef to be popped off. No beef, right? So we're going to do the same thing. We want the list. So I'm going to go ahead and type dog food. We want the list and we want to apply a method or a procedure to the list. So we um, we launch those or we say we we want that to come next by hitting a dot or period. And with um, that, we have a list and I'm going to go ahead and choose pop. I'm going to type that in. Don't confuse it with poop. And then we have, oh, look at that. So now we have... Um, we have parentheses. So before, the, I think there was none for vitamins, but now I think we can choose what we want to take off. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna pop um, one because bone is zero, beef is one. Let's try that. Um, and then we want all of these things in here. Then give the food to number three. So that's interesting because we're gonna pop off one all right, and then we're gonna follow all those steps. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna shrink the window. I'm gonna hit play to compile the code. I'm gonna cross my fingers. Oh my gosh, look at that. It did everything but the beef. It's almost like you need to put that in slow-mo. And then I'm gonna right click to get my chest. And remember, what's the tip for getting everything to fly down? That's right, shift plus a click. So shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. We have those items. Let's turn around to doggy number three, and we're gonna throw those items in. So let's see how far we can throw. I wanna see the whole, the dog and everything. I'm gonna take a little screenshot of this for my thumbnail. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna press, well, you know, I could wheelie mouse over there too. So wheel mouse to one. <gasps> Look at the dog heads. That's cute. Is that because they like that food, right? Biscuits, eh. Vitamins, eh, but a bone, ooh, chicken, ooh, nope, the chicken, oh, wait, I went past it, that's what it was, ah, yeah, the wheelie mouse is too fast for me, so I'm going to throw the chicken, and there it goes, oh, whoops, I went forward, back, throw this, number two, throw the seat, oh, I don't know that it went in there, okay, three, throw the vitamins, okay, and four, throw the bone. Correct, we did it, oh my goodness. So thank you for your help, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to activity four, or three, whoopsie, three, I guess is that, I was there already. Oh, look, the glass door's open. So I'm not allowed to go back to activity one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stop this video, and then I'm going to start fresh with another one. So thanks for your help, I'll see you on the next video, next activity. Bye.